Good morning, guys. Um, uh, good afternoon, guys, and welcome back to another Kingdom Hearts Union Class video. So today, let's go ahead and talk about what we're gonna have for tomorrow, and of course, with Dr. Lee. So let's go with it. So VIP is still the same. Purchase the bonus jewel pack, you'll be able to get a free drum. Players are limited to one pool, which guarantees one of the wallet medals, and comes with a bonus um, speed gem. And in this case, it's all the above here. Then in this case, we also have the illustrated Kingdom Hearts 3 King Mickey. That pretty much like a legend, very cool. Um, it will come. It will go with one medal and, of course, with a trade medal set. In this case, let's go ahead and talk about what we have. Like. So, um, target saw target zero is speed cost mastery for one turn. Increase speed metal attack for 10k. Upright general attack for 15 and kill damage for 220. Increase the enemy's uprights. Um, Genital defense for 15, erase the contour plus 2, changes the following metal into a speed type and inflicts 8 hits. Um, just started to jump, I'm sorry, just woke up like 15 minutes ago. Um, okay, and supernova ability for one turn, increase speed metal attack for 12k and guild damage, uh, damage for 320. Decrease the enemy's general power speed and magic attack for 10. And it's activated before the first slot in PvP. Pretty good, solid metal. Uh, illustration is good, so hopefully we can get an illustrated nominee uh, alongside with uh, Sora. Um, sorry, with Donald and Goofy as well, because from the anniversary we were missing those guys. So uh, hopefully we can get something from them. So well, um, continuing on, we got a night cape. It will provide you an a rare enemy luck for four. You get 10 draw tickets, you get one rainbow gem, and as well the material quest is now available following um, getting the following. You get Metal Sid, Chip and Dale, Hugh Dory Louie, Broom, Servant, Fantasy and Mickey, Sub Slots, and Reverse Power Speed Magic for one for each one of them. Now I must say something here. Um, pretty much in this case I've been actually farming a little bit. Like if you're able to repeat the process, I don't know how many times, you can do it. Um, to be honest, I was like, oh you know what let me go ahead and see if I can go ahead and pull again and I was able to pull again so um, this is only count with the SP Hue and um, with the Sits, Chips and Dales, Hue and Dewey Louie, Broom Service and uh, Moogle and Fantasy and Mickey's those are the ones that you can farm I don't know how many times but the sub slots and the reverse power speed magic attack and all that stuff that one that one is not included so keep that in mind now our last um, stainless glass, in case if you're chasing this, you can go ahead and pull it for the next 10 pulls. Um, Mercy, of course, it's actually Aurora, so let's go ahead and talk about her. So, um, in this case, um, this, the, I'm sorry, the, the stainless glass situation, it provides you all targets, 3 SP cost, mastery for 1 turn, increased power metal attack for 12k, Upright general power attack for 15 and kill damage for 220. Decrease the enemy's upright general power defense for 15 and restores 3 SP, does not affect counts and inflicts 3 hits. And then for the supernova ability, for one turn increase power metal attack for 14k, upright general power attack for 15 and kill damage for 320. Decrease the enemy's upright general power for 15 um, and activates before the first slot in PvP. Now, In this case, this metal, like I mentioned, it, she's not very good. Everybody knows that the Stinic Glass are just like a kind of um, powerhouse um, metals, except for Snow White, that she is a very good PvP metal. And maybe um, Cinderella is actually very good for PvE, as alongside with, with Belle, that she is actually very good on Coliseum. And this one as well, so pretty much that's the only purpose that you're actually chasing for those metals. As well, if you're chasing the four um, standing glasses, you'll be able to get the, the you know, the, the Kyrie Melody of Memories um, metal. Now let's talk about the Avatar boards. We're gonna have 20 Avatar boards for returning. We got a Mickey Tuxedo suit, a Mini Dot One Piece. One Piece? I'm just kidding. Winter Mickey Coordinate. Winter Mickey Coordinate as well. Conductor Mickey. Royal Mickey Coordinate. Royal Mini Coordinates. Sand Mickey Coordinate. It's very amazing, the same one, but uh, oh my god, this is just so cool. It's just so amazing. Uh, then we got the Saint Mickey Coordinate, 
um, as well with we got the fantasy and Mickey, casual Mickey that looks like yo yo, <laughs> casual Mini, the Trident costume, the Ariel costume, the Woody costume as well, um, the Boop Heap costume, and we got the Buzz Lightyear costume alongside the Jesse costume. I think that the ones that they are a little bit updated is the Woody costume and maybe the Buzz Lightyear one. I remember that Woody was around when Toy Story 3 was um, was actually on, on theaters and I think it was like 11 or 12 max, I don't remember. Then the following item has been added for the mobile shop. You get Hugh and Dewey Louis Pretend for 100 jewels, 10 chips and nails you'll be able to get for 100 jewels. Clear the challenge and the surprise event to get 10 draw tickets and 10 power gems. Organization 13 Union Cross will be held for only tomorrow that you need to defeat section to get cross points and you'll be able to get 10 draw tickets. Vanquish the Iron Giant from the 16th to the 29th. Clear the challenge to get 5 draw tickets, um, power gems, sub slug medals, avatar points, and enchanted medals. Then the raid event is updated, defeat the fortress trap, and you'll be able to get points and get up to 5 draw tickets. Um, daily strength event is held from the 16th and 22. There are three quests for every day. Clear the challenges to get all sorts of um, strength and medals. Then in this case, you get to see in the above. Um, then we got the avatar coin deal for the 16th and the 22. Clear the challenge to get avatar coins and use them to redeem boosts. Then the day of the week quest has been renewed. Check what you get every day. You get on Monday, chips and deals. Thursday and Friday, you get um, Q and Dewey and Louis. Um, Wednesday and Saturday, you'll be able to get um, the Moogle ones. And Thursday and Sunday, you'll be able to get six. Where's the other one that we can get the, the materials instead of waiting 10, 10 jewels? <laughs> well, I guess we don't have that, so that's a good one. So, um, now we got Mickey B has been added to the draw of the 16. Um, as you can see, it actually provides a water powerful magic attack. It restores HP. The amount of recovery varies depending on the power's magic power. So I think this one did not got renewed as the nominate because the nominate did have some some kind of effect with the cure, but this one is actually very good. Now we got another one, daily mission. Offer premium quest jewels will be held from the 16 and 22. During this period, the premium quest event has been played up to six times per day as the opposite of usual to three. Pretty much cool, so I won't deny it. So let's go ahead and talk about the recap about everything that we have on the top. So, like I mentioned, premium quest, you'll be able to, for the VIP, you'll be able to get this banner per, um, one medal per each day of the draw. You'll be able to get the Kingdom Hearts 3 uh, King Mickey Illustrated version for one. It will give you eight um, traits and actually a very good speed medal. As well, we go on with the Knight K uh, or Cap. Draw ticket for 10, Rainbow Gem for one. Material quest is now available, offering what we got down below. Um, you'll be able to get Aurora in the next 10 pulls as well alongside with all the effects that you get here Then you get 20 avatar boards. You'll be able to get 15k jewels for each one of them As I can mention, you're just there for the avatar board That we got the Mickey Tuxedo, we got the Mickey Coordinates, we got um, Conductor, we got the Royal We actually got Saint Mickey, we got as well Fantasia, we got the Casual We got Triton costume alongside with the Ariel, Woody costume and Rupee costume as well Buzz Lightyear custom and Jesse custom. As well, you'll be able to buy all these uh, materials for 100 jewels for each one of them. As well, we can go ahead and defeat the Gorilla event or the surprise event that tomorrow we get 10 dragon tickets in, um, 10 power gems. As well, you get the Organization 13 Union Cross, uh, Vanguard the Iron Giant, Raid event is updated, Daily Strand event is held from the 16th to 22. You get Avatar points daily, so you'll be able to clear the challenges and redeem them for boosts. And we got the updated um, daily Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Wednesday, Saturday, Thursday, Sunday material. And for Dark Road, um, you'll be able to get the Mickey B. Pretty much in this case, powerful magic attack. And you'll be able to restore the HP amount of recovery value depends on the player's magic power. As well, the daily mission offer premium quests and jewels. So you can as well, the premium quest event can be played for up six times in the opposite of the usual three. Now I've been wondering, I think that, let me see if you're able to get the 3k of jewels, I'm pretty sure that you'll be able to get, yeah, get another 3k of jewels as present, I was, I was wondering if this news was there on, on the news here, but I didn't saw that, but pretty much I think we got this, and then the next week, and pretty much that's all the 3k of jewels that we're gonna gain here, so, 
as you can see we got two free k of jewels on those free two weeks then we got this one and we got another 3k of jewels we got the, another 3k of jewels of the melody of memories release that we got 12 and pretty much the last one is going to be the next week that pretty much is going to be <coughs> another additional five um th sorry 3k of jewels pretty much we're getting 15k of jewels as a present so <coughs> i'm still going to be chasing for the Santa class but i'm gonna wait until the to the black friday sales and see if there's gonna be something more cooler than this if I see that, hey, you know what, we're gonna press in, I don't know if the standing class is gonna be there, then I'll go for it. In case if it's not, I'm just going to chase the standing class fails until then. So, um, you'll be wondering, we, we, I only have two weeks to get um, to get the standing class because it's gonna be over until the next 15 weeks. I think I'm gonna be able to chase them, I think. I, I have in my power like 31k of jewels, maybe I'm gonna get 32 if I complete something. And if I advance level, because right now I'm level um, 343, I think, uh, I, I'm guessing that I'm going to be able to... Oh no, I'm 744, so I only need 6 levels more and I'll be able to get an additional 5k of jewels. Maybe, if I do a little bit of math, as well, remember that we're going to have, I think it's in the next week, the, the high score challenge. There's another 5k of jewels that you'll be wondering there, so... I think I'm gonna be able to chase the Stainy Glasses, even if I pull for each one of them. Aurora and Bell, those are the last ones that I need to chase though. I'll be able to get the Kyrie, but remember guys, if people are telling me, hey, you know what, why are you pulling for the Stainy Glass? Those are just a bunch of junk, like, they're not very cool and all that stuff. Remember that besides of the Aqua Medals, the Stainy Glass Medals are my favorite archetype medals that I love. Like, you know, a group of archetypes, you know, like a lot of Aqua Medals, Illustrated, Kingdom Hearts 3, um, Kingdom Hearts 2, or I'm sorry, Kingdom Hearts 2, they didn't say so now, but, um, Burst by Sleep, um, Illustrated, all that kind of stuff, as well alongside with the Seminus Medals, Roxas Medals, Lincoln Will Medals, um, all those kind of archetypes, or, uh, what other archetypes do, does exist, like, um, Kingdom Hearts 3 archetype medals, um, all that stuff so you get the point so pretty much it's my favorite archetype because like i mentioned the illustrated the standing glass represents the heart of somebody that's pretty much you enter to the heart of somebody and you get to see the standing glass so it's not very it's not actually like um, a very hard to explain why it's saying that's like my favorite archetype now. so that's why i'm chasing them well i think that is gonna be all so i hope you enjoy the rest of your sunday um pretty much tomorrow we're gonna have like kind of a schedule like that um, of course, many people are still wondering like why these medals have to be 10k of jewels. Maybe the Kyrie is going to be re um, released in a later date, um, like we got with the TVA. But for people who really want this medal like me, pretty much you need to get 120k of, of jewels. So you'll be able to get, to get it. Or if you're very lucky that you'll be able to get it within the without the Mercy, then pretty much you already can skip one of those. But, I'm still going to be saving my jewels into the next two weeks. We have 15 days until this. Um, Stainy Glass is actually over, so I think I have plenty of time. Well, um, I think that is going to be all. Hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. May horse be your guiding key. I'll see you guys in